Martin Edmondson, the founder of Reflections and the creative director of Driver San Francisco. San Francisco was a very easy choice for the game. The first game was set in San Francisco. It's also the most iconic car chase city of all time, made famous by Bullet, of course, which was one of the original inspirations for the game. And thirdly, it's just one of those cities that has a lot of diversity. A lot of cities in the US, very grid-like, uh, very flat. This is something that has a mixture of different driving types, different types of roads. It has farm tracks. It has a lot of, you know, the famous hills that everyone knows from San Francisco. Iconic structures like the Golden Gate and uh, East Bay Bridge and the, the famous Pyramid uh, Tower. So for many reasons it was a good choice. Technically it's a difficult one to do because you can be on the top of Russian Hill or Knob Hill and look all, all the way across the bay at the other side to Marin County. It's, uh, it's a realistic model of San Francisco in terms of the general themes and the layouts. It's not an inch by inch perfect recreation. This experience has told us that that generally doesn't produce a great game. You, we've taken the key areas, the areas that people would want to play in, the areas Areas that are quite diverse and push them together so you don't have to drive or spend ages going from one area to another it's all sort of quite compact and there's 210 miles of driving road so it's the biggest open city driving environment out there the first concepting meeting that we had when we decided to bring this this game back we were in Paris and we had a high concept which was the the idea of Google Earth Live and what we wanted to do was to, uh, to turn this into something that was very sort of uh, playable and reactive and would produce the sort of chaotic scenes that you can see back here. And, and, and what it's about is Tanner being able to shift from one person to another person in any car instantaneously, rapidly, no loading, no delays. And we then had to set about thinking of a story that would, that would work with this for the single player and that would really bed the whole shift into the story. We didn't want this feature just tacked on. We wanted it to be part of Tanner's story. So it's a tricky thing to sell on paper, of course, but as soon as you get your hands on it and play it, then you really get how it works. As you press X or A and you're into shift, you use the two sticks to find another vehicle. You can pull back on the stick to go higher and higher and higher and, and then even see the whole city in its entirety. Back down again, select a vehicle, X or A shifts back into a new vehicle and, uh, that, and that's functionally how it works. The game comes out on PlayStation 3 and Xbox uh, 360, PC and Mac and it comes out uh, 1st of September.